Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. You're watching our video comparison between the Sony Xperia Ion and the Samsung Galaxy S3, both for AT&T. Uh, they're both very similar in terms of hardware specs, 4G LTE connectivity, dual-core processors, large displays, um, but the pricing is quite different. You have the Galaxy S3 at $200, whereas the uh, Sony Xperia Ion is only priced at half that cost. It's $100 with a two-year contract. So we're going to find out which device is going to win over your hard-earned money. So there isn't one particular handset that boasts an awe-inspiring design. They're pretty much conventional by today's standards, but if we had to pick, we'd probably go with the Samsung Galaxy S3 with the design, just because we like its cleaner looks, lightweight feel in the hand, and its rounded edges just to make it a lot more comfortable to hold in the hand. Whereas the Sony Xperia Ion, it has some hard lines, so it doesn't feel as uh, natural when you hold in the hand. We do like its choice of materials, very, a lot more sturdy, um, just because of the metallic casing, but it does contribute to a heavier, heavier feel in the hand. It's also also thicker than the Galaxy S3, so all in all, we probably hand it to Samsung's uh, beauty for this one. It's really tough to say which one has the better looking display just because they're both equally sharp in their own way. Uh, the uh, Galaxy S3 is the larger display, 4.8 inch HD Super AMOLED display versus the uh, smaller 4.6 inch HD reality display of the Xperia Ion. Same resolution at this point, 720 by 1280 pixels and just because the Ion has a smaller display, technically it has the higher pixel density, but honestly it doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't matter that much just because they're both still very sharp and detailed so we can make out fine text. But between the two, the, again, the saturated color tones might wow people on the uh, Galaxy S3 versus the more neutral, natural color tones on the Xperia Ion. The Galaxy S3 also boasts the better viewing angles. It maintains its clarity and its brightness output and allows it to you know, become a little bit more attractive in the long run. No doubt about it, we prefer the Android buttons on the Galaxy S3. It uses a combination of capacitive buttons and a physical home button. With the Xperia Ion, it has capacitive Android buttons, but they are notoriously difficult to activate. Meanwhile, above the displays, they have their front-facing cameras, 1.9 megapixel on the Galaxy S3 versus a 1 megapixel on the Xperia Ion. Both can shoot 720p video, so you have their earpieces. They both feature LED notification lights, but we like the multicolor one on the Galaxy S3. It's a lot brighter. And finally, the Xperia Ion lacks a light sensor, so it doesn't adjust the brightness. You have to set it manually. Between the two, we like the physical buttons of the Galaxy S3 just because they're a little bit more pronounced and a lot more responsive versus the flat feel of the Xperia Ion. However, we really like it that the Xperia Ion features a standard HDMI out port. Uh, they both feature micro USB ports for charging data connectivity, but with the Galaxy S3, it requires a special, a newer MHL adapter to gain video out. As for rear cameras, the Galaxy S3 features an 8 megapixel autofocus camera with a single LED flash, whereas the Xperia Ion has a higher count 12 megapixel autofocus camera which features the Exmor R sensor and also has a single LED flash and both are equipped to take 1080p videos. What makes the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 so much more superior than the Sony Xperia Ion in terms of the software experience is the TouchWiz Nature UX. It's, it's running on top of Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich versus Android 2.3 Gingerbread on the Xperia Ion. The thing that we like about it is that just it's very it's a lot more comprehensive, deeper, especially with sharing functionalities. You could uh, do it via the All Share uh, option. You could even do things like the Pop Up Player, the S Beam functionality. It just makes sharing content very easy and that's what we like about it. There's still both a lot of personalization with each. Of course they have their own set of unique widgets and whatnot. Very uh, dynamic with each one but as far as the overall package we definitely prefer the TouchWiz Nature experience. When it comes to raw processing power, the Galaxy S3 is by far more equipped than the Xperia Ion just because it uses newer hardware. It's a dual-core 1.5 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 processor versus the dual-core uh, 1.5 GHz Snapdragon S3 processor and the Xperia Ion. On top of that, the uh, Galaxy S3 benefits with 2 GB RAM versus 1 GB. And here we have a live wallpaper. And you can tell that both are still very smooth, but we just noticed overall that the Galaxy S3 has just a lot better fluidity in its operation. Just a hint, a tiny hint of lag every now and then with the Xperia Ion. It's never bad, but we just notice that. When it comes to typing up long messages, we find both to be more than adequate for our needs just because their keyboards are very spacious and on top of that, super responsive. 
Of course, we love that both handsets have 4G LTE connectivity, so you get really fast data speeds. And honestly, we tested it out. Both uh, obtained pretty much similar results with their speeds. But the difference here is just the web browsing performance. We prefer the Galaxy S3. Of course, larger display, but it's able, better able to handle flash content. And its uh, navigational controls are considerably smoother. You see this kind of jerkness going on with the, uh, with the Xperia Ion. Between the two, we got to give it to the Xperia Ion when it comes to their music players, just because it's refreshing, something we typically don't see. On top of that, it boasts the better visuals with its presentation, but the overall functionality is still there. As far as the audio quality, the Galaxy S3 has it with its speaker. It's sharper, stronger, whereas the Xperia Ion, it's rather weak. Initially, it was rather difficult to say which one, which handset's the better when it comes to watching videos. They both have, you know, good results, large displays. The video we have here is in DivX 1920 by 1080 resolution. You can tell both are playing very smoothly, good details, nice colors. But with the mobile Bravia engine running on the Xperia Ion, it just the saturation level and does stand out a lot more. It just seems more vibrant with its color tones and has a slight edge uh, in this category. Honestly, both handsets are more than capable of taking some sh exciting looking shots with their respective cameras. 8 megapixel camera on the Galaxy S3 versus 12 megapixel snapper on the Xperia Ion. We just like it that the uh, Galaxy S3 is faster with its shutter speed. The, uh, the uh, autofocus on the Xperia Ion takes a little bit longer time, especially in lower lighting conditions, but the results are quite similar. Sharp looking details, um, natural looking colors. The, um, the Xperia Ion has just a subtle overexposure, but helps out in lower lighting conditions to brighten things up. And the Xperia Ion just seems to be a little bit better with lower lighting conditions, just because it doesn't, uh, it doesn't look as grainy compared to the Galaxy S3. But either way, both are wonderful when it comes to taking photos. However, when it comes to shooting 1080p videos, we prefer using the Galaxy S3 just because it's faster with its autofocus. It just takes an extremely long time with the Xperia Ion. And the Ion also suffers from some distorted audio recording. But as far as the visuals, both good details, natural looking colors, and they move swiftly at 30 frames per second. The Galaxy S3 has a slight advantage when it comes to calling quality just because uh, its volume output is considerably stronger with the earpiece and also the speaker phone, but both still provide for some clear and, and uh, distinctive voices on both ends of the line. During our time testing out both handsets, neither one dropped any phone calls, uh, nor did we see any major fluctuations with signal strength, but overall it just seems like the radio inside of the Xperia Ion has a slightly stronger output. Battery life though has to go to the Galaxy S3, mainly because it's running the newer S4 processor versus the older generation uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon S31 inside of the Xperia Ion. We managed to get over a day on the on the Galaxy S3, less than that on the Ion, but LTE connectivity really drains the batteries on both devices. So if money is concerned to you, but definitely you want to take a look at the Sony Xperia Ion. It still has many lovable aspects of it. Pretty much a high-end smartphone delivers the goods with most categories. But if you want to have the best of the best, then we definitely recommend the Samsung Galaxy S3. It's just the premier device out there, both with the hardware and also the software. It gives you the complete package. Yes, you pay double the price, but hey, you get a lot more for that. So if you'd like to learn more about both handsets, the Sony Xperia Ion and the Samsung Galaxy S3, both for AT&T, you can check out our website, guys, phonerena.com. This is John V. Thanks for watching.